Hey everyone! Um, I have not made a reading video since my 24 hour reading challenge. And if I'm being honest, that was the last time I read a book. Yeah, I've, I'm in a reading slump. Bad. And today I'm trying to get out of it. So, we are taking the precautions of getting out of a book slump. But before we get some coffee, I decided that the only way to get out of a book slump is to go to Barnes & Noble and get some more books. So, that's what we're doing today. Um, this is the first step in my reading slump cure. So, let's go get some coffee. Thank you. you too, thank you so much. Let's see if this tastes like shit or if it's actually gonna be good. Moment of truth. Mm, I've tasted worse. Not gonna lie, I've tasted worse. I just have to run a few errands and then we can get on our jolly way. I'm at the bank, but I'm waiting because there's like two cars ahead of me and I don't like social interactions, so I'm not going inside. But the moral of this video is I need to get out of my reading slump because I've been in one for the whole month of August and it's August 16th? 15th. It's August 15th and I have not read a single word and that's not okay with me. So. I am going to look up how to get out of a reading slump and see if the internet has any advice for getting into reading. Okay, perfect. 15 tried and true ways to get over your reading slump. Since there are 15 tips, we're going to try all of them because the internet is right. The internet is always right. The first one is read your favorite book again. Okay, I'm not doing that. Read a book you think you won't like. Interesting, interesting. There's freedom in reading a book you think you won't like. No expectations and no guilt if you stop. It's just you, a book, and the potential to get your read on. Very true. Okay, okay. I will keep that in mind. Pick a new series. Finishing a series you loved often leaves you a void. Hmm. Maybe I'll try a series today. I think those ideas are awesome. So I'm at Barnes and Nobles right now, so I'm going to take my context clues and I'm just gonna like look around. I'm just gonna take that one tip, no expectations, and just go with the flow. So I'll see you in there. just got back from Barnes and Noble with a few things so I'm going to give you a little book haul from what the internet told me I needed to start a series read books that I know nothing about and just overall have no expectations so I bought a few books that fit those categories so starting off I got the Secret History by Donna Tartt. Uh, this is a dark academia book and that's pretty much all I know about it and that's kind of why I wanted to read it to get out of my slump. So yeah, this is the first book that I got. The second book is called From the Jump by Lacey Walden. This is a young adult book, I think. Oh, it says fiction. I thought it was young adult. But, um, I saw Haley Pham talk about this in her last video. And it's about, like, an overworked graphic designer who goes on a trip. And I think there's some romance in it. I don't know. In school, I learned about graphic design. I thought this would be cool because it kind of has to do with me. <laughs> or at least what I want to do. So, yeah. I thought this would be a perfect book 
to get me out of a slump. And then lastly, I bought The Cruel Prince. I think this is the first book, I hope, out of the series. I really hope it's the first book. Does anyone know? <gasps> oh my god, wait, there's like pretty designs in here. Wow, okay, cute. The internet told me to find a new series to read and something that I don't think I would like. So, this is it. Um, this is fantasy and I don't think I've read a fantasy book yet. So this would be my first fantasy book that I read. And honestly, I don't know what this is about at all. Um, my friend just read it and she said that it got her into fantasy books, so I'm hoping it would do the same for me because I'm thinking that my reading slump is due to me reading so much of the same books. So, yeah. I don't have any expectations for this except for the fact that hopefully it gets me out of my reading slump. I really don't know which one I'm gonna start off with. I'm going to look at more of this list because it helped me out so much in my book buying extravaganza. Let's see what else epicreads.com has to say. Carve out a little reading time for yourself. I have no plans at all today, so I have all the time in the world. Mix it up a little and read somewhere new. Do you always read in your room? Try and read at a kitchen table, on the couch, or the front porch. A slight change in routine may be all it takes to remind you how much you love reading. That is a doable task. Yeah, I am actually gonna do that. Sunglasses on indoors. But I'm in my bathing suit and I'm gonna go read outside like the internet told me. And I actually think that it's gonna help me with this challenge that I am undergoing. But the problem is it's a little cloudy and dark outside. I think I'm just gonna go out there, try it out, and if it rains, I'll just come back inside. I'm gonna make a snack and then go outside and figure out which of those books I wanna read next. I have switched locations as the internet has told me to do. But yeah, first things first, I like sitting in that chair over there and I just sat in it and I fell right through it. Do you see that rip? I have my books right here and I think I'm gonna read from the jump first because I'm more comfortable with this genre. From the Epic Reads website, it said to try the first five or ten pages of as many books as you can so i might try reading the first five to ten pages of each of these and see which one holds my attention the most okay i'm not gonna lie i get freaked out when i see bees so i had to come inside and lantern flies oh my god don't even get me started with those things if i'm being honest here i sat out there and just watched youtube videos <laughs> I just watch videos. Um, the environment was just not good enough for me. The bees, the flies, my neighbors just outside. Like, I couldn't handle it. I'm not a quitter. I'm going to try another location that's inside of my house that I have not read before. Um, I'm going to try to read on my couch downstairs. And hopefully that will help me out and get me moving a little bit so yeah let's just see what happens <laughs> guess who has an update uh so i read the prologue and two chapters of from the jump so far and i'm actually intrigued so i think this might have worked so from what i gathered in the story so far the main character her name is livy um, her and her friends from college hang out every third Thursday of the year. Her friend group, they go on annual trips and out of the seven years of friendship, she has not been able to go on a single one of them due to her job and her workload. So yeah, it's like pretty good. And there's like a little romance in it too. So that's kind of keeping me hooked and I don't know. I like it so far. I really like it so far. The right book can get you out of a slump. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the slump or how bad it is. It really just depends on what book you decide to pick up. Another fact, it is the hardest to start a book. For me, that was my problem. I 
could not get into any books at first because all the books I have on my shelf are like slow and that's not something you need when you're in a reading slump. So this is good so far and I recommend it to anyone who has thought about reading it or anyone who has just heard about it from my video. Go read this. It's really good. I'm gonna take a little break though. Don't worry guys. I'm I think I'm out of my slump now, but I need to eat. I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm hungry. I'm gonna be making pasta, so while I'm waiting for the noodles to boil, I'm gonna keep reading my book. I think I'm out of it. I think I'm out of it. This is such a great feeling. <laughs> little update. I'm still not very far in this book. I'm only on page 40, but that's pretty good to me considering the last time I picked up a book was July 27th. Let's not talk about it, but this book just keeps getting better and better. I'm a huge fan of then and now like tenses or what do you call that a tense? It describes their friendship like in the past when they started college and stuff and then now like as they're all graduated and have jobs and stuff like that. I am officially on chapter five. This book just keeps constantly grabbing my attention and I seriously think that I have made it out of my slump. The advice from this website, um, Epic Reads, I'll link it down below, honestly worked. I think the reason for my slump was because I pressure myself to read so much in a month, which honestly I don't need to like there's no reason to have to read a book a day you know of course set goals for yourself if you want to read five books a month go for it but setting your expectations that high will put you in a book slump like me if i could share any advice to anyone who is in a book slump right now it would be to go to the bookstore browse around look at some books that you haven't seen before read the backs See if it has any common interest to you. Read the first five to ten pages, see if it sparks any interest, and go from there. So don't pressure yourself. You do you. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you want. It's up to you. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>